Uh, I do what I do mainly because I love it. Um, I started out, I got an apprenticeship, actually I'm from Alabama. I got an apprenticeship when I was 13. I uh, pretty much just worked, clean shops, doing everything. And then when I was 16, he finally, I wanted to be a piercer. And he was like, handing me the needle. And there was a customer and he's like, I want you to do it. You've watched me long enough, try it out. And from then on, it just it took off. And now I'm doing stuff where I, I'm an extreme body mod artist. I can take like a normal earlobe and I can cut it open and make it into something like mine. I can stretch anything, I can cut anything open. I mean, stuff I know, I pretty much, I could pretty much be a doctor on this stuff. But I mean, and then I came here, I moved back to Florida and um, Hugh offered me a job. He didn't even see a portfolio or nothing. He just took it, took me right in. And since then, he's been like family. Practice on myself, a lot of it. I would use myself and my, my mentor at the time. He would let me practice on him. And so with time, I just, I'm great at it now. I mean, it's five years now I've been doing it. Uh, since I started when I was 13. Um, African, especially African culture. African culture has had a huge, huge impact on it. And I think that's all something that started with me because I remember sitting in like third, fourth grade, picking up a National Geographic magazine and seeing that stuff. And I'm like, that's, that's amazing right there. And I believe that is because a lot of the stuff and that culture is used for like spiritual or like ears and lips. It's uh, like you're higher up. You're, you're more in demand. You're wanted more. It's powered pretty much, and I believe that's made a big impact and it's made its way here. It's become very popular, because I mean, I think it's more popular because it's not like a tattoo, it's not there forever, you can take it out. Or you can get it fixed for a lot cheaper. I mean, I have people who have been stretching for longer than I have, and one day it just happens, they don't want to do it no more, and they come to me and I pretty much just cut them off and stitch them back together. It's pretty easy and it's, it's possible. I, I could become a doctor probably from all the, I know where veins, arteries, everything, I gotta know that stuff, and I've spent years just doing research on this stuff. Uh, the guys here are amazing. Don, Gabe, Cue Ball, all of them. They're just great guys. You know, you got different personality from all of them. Every, every one of them has a different background. Each one of them, the way they talk to you, it's just, you feel at home. They can make you laugh, everything. It's just, this is a nice shop to be in. It makes you comfortable. Cue Ball is just, I don't know, man, he's great. You know, like I said, he hired me on not even looking at a portfolio or nothing. Didn't even know if I could do this stuff. And since then, he's just, he's given me chance after chance, and I keep, I, I amaze him in everything I do, and I can't, I can't thank him more enough. I mean, he's a great guy. One of the nice guys I've ever met. I don't make as much as a tattoo artist, but if I got into extreme body mods and stuff, like I know up north, it's more common, where you're making two, two thousand, two, three thousand dollars just a week alone, just piercing and fixing people's bodies or changing their bodies, deforming it, whatever you want to call it. I mean, you can make a good living off of this. The best part, probably inflicting pain on people. It's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, it's like I get, <laughs> I get paid to hurt these people. It's, it's pretty fun, honestly. <laughs> oh, it's going to keep growing. Body mods and piercings, you see it every day. I mean, you get from the, to the girls that just want belly button piercings to the guys who want to put horns in their heads and and scalpel their lips or their ears. We haven't we haven't seen everything, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna as time goes, it's gonna be more and more advanced. And I'm looking forward to that. Come to Infliction, get a tattoo, get pierced. Let me stab you. I don't know. <laughs>